On June 11th, the remains of a Canadian veteran of the 1950-1953 Korean War arrived at Incheon International Airport west of Seoul with his beloved wife and grandson. The remains of the late Albert Hugh McBride, who died in 2017, spent one night here at the Seoul National Cemetery and were buried at the UN Memorial Cemetery in the southern port city of Busan the next day. This week, Korea Now looks into the story of McBride and Busan's UN Cemetery, which is the only UN cemetery in the world. McBride fought in the Korean War from November 1951 until January 1953 as a gunner and tank driver of Lord Strathcona's horse, a regular armored regiment of the Royal Canadian Army. The Second Battle of the Hook in 1952 was one of the fiercest battles he joined. United Nations Command or UN forces consisting of British, Canadian and South Korean troops fought against Chinese forces. They fought on a vital sector known as the Hook position near Panmunjom today, which was the scene of much bitter fighting before and in the ensuing months. Chinese forces attempted to take the strategic position but were repelled by a combination of heavy firepower and effective counter-attacks by the UN forces. We had the chance to meet with the family members of McBride and to hear what McBride said about the battlefield during his lifetime. Uh, living in an underground uh, dugout beside the tanks and how cold it was in the winter. And he didn't know me then, so I wasn't able to send him flannel at pajamas, so he was cold. After leaving the Army in 1953, McBride then joined the Canadian Air Force and served for 22 years. He passed away on March 8th in 2017 at age 85. His burial on South Korean soil comes in accordance with his wishes. According to Mrs. McBride, he used to say that he wanted to be buried alongside comrades in arms at the UN Memorial Cemetery in Busan. And then he talked about his childhood friend who is buried in Busan. So uh, we went to see him when we were here in 1998. We went to see all the Strathconas and tomorrow I'm going to go see them as well. Uh, that There's... might be one of the reasons that he, you dis he decided to... Exactly, bury exactly, you're friend right. Of, friend his of his boyhood friend that he grew up with is buried there, so. Oh, really? And he was uh, killed in the tank next to my husband's tank. He became the ninth Korean War veteran from overseas who has returned here posthumously for burial. About 11,000 fallen UN command troops were initially buried at the cemetery between 1951 and 1954, but many of their remains were later repatriated to their home countries. However, the opposite cases have taken place after the Veterans Affairs Ministry started to run a program to invite foreign Korean War veterans to visit the nation again as a token of the country's gratitude for their sacrifices. There have already been eight foreign veterans buried at the UN Memorial Cemetery after dying in their home countries, starting with the French veteran Raymond Bernard in May 2015. When we were here in 1998, it was a British soldier who Ashes were scattered at, on Gloucester Hill, where the uh, British were taken prisoner during the Korean War. And they brought his ashes back, and my husband said, oh, that's a good idea, I wouldn't mind being buried there in Korea. So when we heard that there was a program that I could bring his ashes, we applied and got accepted. So uh, my grandson, Brandon, agreed to accompany me. So we've come to honor the country and to honor my husband. And he was glad that Korea had uh, become the country that it is and that he, he took his small part in bringing it about to the country that it is today. He was very proud of that. Well, today I feel a little bit tired. It's been a long time since morning in Edmonton. Oh, yes. But um, I'm glad to be here and I'm glad to honor him by being here and to honor the Korean people by being here for his memory. I want them to remember all the United Nations troops that came here to help your country and how proud they all were of their service and all that they did for your country and how your country accepted them and uh, uh, they acknowledged and they were proud that the Canadians and the Commonwealth Division and all the other 21 countries that came. Now about 2300 war veterans from 11 countries are buried at the Busan UN Memorial Cemetery including those from France, Britain, Netherlands, the US, and Canada. During the Three-Year War, 
21 countries sent around 1.96 million soldiers and medics here to help South Korea under the name of the UN forces. Of them, more than 40,000 were killed in action and nearly 10,000 are still missing. The Veterans Affairs Ministry explains that those veterans who have returned here in ashes after dying could serve as a kind of buffer with their comrades at the cemetery against another war on the Korean Peninsula. What are your thoughts on this? Please let me know with your comments below. And thank you for watching Korea Now. They always sing Adira, Arya, and he loved that song. He loved the melody of it. He never got the words right, but he loved the melody. Yeah. Remember the melody? Mm -hmm. So your husband liked that song? He liked it very much. Uh, lastly, if you have any message you want to leave for Mac Bay, oh, just, just, just rest in peace, my loved one.